Hi all and Grüezi, I'm B from B's Atelier. Here what I have planned to use. Started with some Mod Podge on chipboard, adding all kind of scraps. I don't care what kind of scraps, whether they are heavy watercolor paper or thin scrapbook paper. Here I'm making sure that every bit and pieces are well adhered. On the second piece I use more blue and green scraps. As a next layer I added text pieces from old books or old dictionary pieces. I like ephemera. Those pieces are rather fragile so I decided to use my fingers which give me most control. Mm. By the way, those chipboard pieces are from recycled cereal boxes. I'm using some Heidi Swap stencils and some Chocolat Lumiere paints. Those have been sitting in my drawers I don't know how long. I add the color with some cut up cosmetic sponges.
going to use some stamps with some white stays on ink. Well, I didn't clean the stamps, obviously, so I get some grey instead of white, which was okay with me too. On the red I use it the media texture spray which gives a nice glossy more of a bumpy effect. Making sure that I have the nozzle cleaned well so it doesn't get clogged after a while. Not shown here I did cut first the chipboard into one inch stripes and now I'm cutting inches. With some black memento ink I'm started stamping on some tissue paper, making sure that I leave enough room around as I'm gonna cut them apart later. paper on the tiles with some Mod Podge. Here I'm filing the edges of the inches to get rid of the extra tissue paper. I use an ordinary nail file. by Pentort. This glue is made especially for foils. As the glue has turned translucent, I'm ready to rub on my metallic foils.
The next step is to add some edging with a black Sharpie pen. Just to have a little bit more fun, I decided to add little beads, little hearts, micro beads, sequins and more. Time to add the final layer with some Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. Bubbles I remove with the tweezer. I just grab them and pull them out. Adding some glitter and moving it to its place with the pokey tool. So if you wonder what I'm going to do with all those inches, well, I made hangers as you can see. I did make magnets, I do use them as embellishment for other projects and I even made like two pairs of earrings. I have used the Xyron sticker makers to make some self-adhesive inches.
super glue for adhering the magnets. Working on the earrings, etching again, and then I'm marking the points where I want to put in the holes. I'm using a handheld punch with a lot of small holes. Here I'm adding a 10 mm jump ring and a 3 mm jump ring to a near wire. Also made a dangle with some beads and a bead cap. Next, I attached the dangle to the bead base again with the 10mm jump ring. 